Welcome back everybody to another video here. We are playing Satisfactory again. We are continuing our way down this gigantic highway. Um, I started to work on the foundations, the concrete better to say. And it seems to be all very well working as indeed all my factories are producing at the max capacity as they can. And the better to say that our copper factory is always stopped. Because even if I took something out, like in 20 seconds it's full. There are just two gigantic storage units full of copper ingots. So that's also a thing. Uh, that's very well done. The iron was also stopped, but I managed to get a lot of iron out and make a lot of plates of it. Why did it? Why did it do it? The iron plates that I got are 600, if I believe. Yep, 600. So um, I hope it's enough. Well, we can at least take a look and how we are gonna do it. And since the highway is now also too wide almost, we are way further than I expected. Look, this is where we fell down before last in the last episode. Well, a long way down, but I still survived and I still don't know why. There is something on that ridge now, by the way. Um, I fell on it and I heard a noise like a slug or something. No idea if that is a slug and what it is, but we need to research the sofa for that. I took the liberty to make the hard drive, put it into a research machine in between the episode. It's still researching as uh, is to be sp spoken of. So we'll check that later on in this episode if it's finished or not, and how far it is if it's finished. There we go. Now we go over to the belt. And let's bring the belt home. In my older game with my friends above the uh, ridge, in the hard part of the world, um, we managed to make a road like this one, too wide. But then the new racks that you get with Logistics MK2, uh, like four or five of, of them on top of each other, and then we br bring all those items, we drop them up to the base that's floating in midair. This was amazing. Really was amazing. There we go. Keep on going. But seriously, this game is amazing. Look at the view we got. We can almost see the whole map. But as farther it gets, the little more less detail you can watch at. So I really like the way they do it. I just got the note that the updates that we are waiting for will be faster than expected. Although the note is written by a community member that got contact with one of the developers, he says. No idea if it's true or not. Well, you might wonder why too this time, because the belt this needs to go down. And if it needs to go down, I make, must make sure that the belt has the right correction, otherwise it still goes over the road and I don't want that. I think I go up now. And while I do that, why not play some... Foundations at the same time. There we go. Up there is the advanced area. If you go up there, you find uranium depot, I think. And a lot of... There's a hard drive, I think, on that ledge. 
Anyways, um, yeah, well, they uh, basically it's a hard area where you find a lot of enemies, a lot of harder enemies, and radioactive terrain. The only way I got there before in my earlier games was using the train. I made the train rails go up and up and up and up until I was there. So I started to think, why not make the train higher up in my tower as a floor? And then use that train depot to receive different items. And then sort those different items out to the right direction. Although I found out that if I do that, there is a certain chance that if somebody gets clocked up, it directly causes an issue with the other part of the factory. So yeah, well, this game is a lot of thinking if you want to make some stuff so if i want to make a train station on my factory it needs to be a wide one if i want to receive multiple types of items the good thing i found on that witch over there i found that uh, that uh, yellow stuff that uh, gold like stuff the stuff that we found before uh, what was it called again i have no idea already lost the uh, the name of the stuff I can show it you in a few seconds when we are further down below we're almost there we are really close and I want to make sure that I have a big buffer here before I make any more changes to the system and while I'm here again let's see so, There we go, that's done. You never jump, I always said. Currently it's working fine, I don't know if that's the update or that there is something else. But in my game before, it causes a lot of issues when jumping down. It could damage me or I can jump wrongly and I fell off. Well, last part is still true, right? if I jump wrongly I fell down. I fall down. So that's something I do need to keep an eye out for. Good, since I do not need any tractors and such in this building, I can close it up and make a door in it. Then I can go up one more and then I can make the inputs. And there is a small, a no, little bit too far away. Then we make a stop in between. There we go. Connected. Since this is a whole row of those machines that needs to come here, I need to take a look at the width of it and see how that ends up. I believe the width is like two of those. Yeah. So if I take a look, one, two, I can put two more, but I can also extend that way. So the better thing is to start here. And even better, I think I need to get this one down there. No, I do not need that. I'm stupid. Let me just make a small extension here with on top of that storage containers. I'm gonna do the same as oh, do the same with as with my other uh, factory thingy thing. I can't connect it like this. I, however, can go aside, make a temporary ledge. See if I can make that one.
And due to the fact that I made this temporary latch. It's the wrong way around. I can get it in. Now I can remove this pole. Make a new one. Get to here. Connect to that one. And then uh, this one. Back in this one is too steep. So it's still too high. It's not a problem. Just lower it down. Wrong input. Since it can connect down, it cannot make two corners at once. So that's why I'm doing it. Removing that one. And now you have the corners that you can use to make a storage tower before you have the bigger containers. Those bigger containers are like two of those on top of each other with two inputs and outputs at once. Since this now extends out of the building, I'm gonna uh, use it as an external facility. So since this is the input, I do not need to look at it again. <coughs> and I can then use this one over here. Get it back in the building. What did I just do? This one needs to be three. There we go. Now connect to here. And now we are connected. And if I'm correct, the coal should be going down and in. There it's going. It's very, very, very slow. We build it faster than the belt goes, but at least it's coming. Uh, let me see. I need a door on my right. And then I can close this wall even further. For now. And since I want to start on the left part, I'm gonna make it on the left part. I line it out on this arrow so we have two platforms going at the correct way. Since we are now inside and I do not want it to block into my rocking way, I can make this one. If I require it, I need to get this one going on this one. Now I can still walk underneath it. But it doesn't block my way. And this way I can start getting the conveyor belt back down to the correct position. Should be over here. So this door is must be there and not here. There we go. And now I can possibly connect it to here. Yes, I can. And now it's the question what are you gonna do with it? Well, simple as it. I'm currently want to extend it as far as I can in a single direction. For now, this is the best way to do it, although later on I must restructure this to make multiple splitters, splitting it multiple times. So I can have two splitters splitting it again in two and then everyone get equal uh, output. And now I need to splitter on this belt, going in a line with that building. And then I can get out of here, get into there, and now the first one is connected and the coal just arrived. What a nice coincidence. There it goes. It starts. Just as we want it. Now I can take an output from this one, bring it to here. Can I use this one outside somewhere? Well, let's place it down there. Take a look at my wall structure. Currently, I can make this one. 
But sadly, I make the mistake of putting it exactly in between two. Let me take a look again. So it should be here. And I need a wall. That does that later on. So, let me connect it again. There we go. That would be the main power output. I'm happy that the wires cannot fry. Would be pretty annoying. Good, now I can close it up. Oh, oh, oh. All the way around. For this one, I can't get out. So, let's just remove it for a short while and exchange it for this one. It has two gates. Sure, we do not use one of those. But since it's at the correct angle, I can use it to get back into here normally. Well, it needs to be a three-way. You can use these ones to get the right angle. I hope. What the? Normally it works. Well, in this case, I'm going for this one then. It's the only way I can do it. And then connect this one to that one. So there is a wall there, but the belt goes through it. That way you can use the wall everywhere, but still close it off. Since this is the back wall over here, get over this one. I always mix the spare room on the side of my factory, so I'm sure that I won't make mistakes that way. The only thing I currently know is that I want to expand that way. If I want to expand my power factory at this moment. Anyways, we have power now. It generates 50 megawatts at full capacity. The small leaf thingy things that use the green stuff to generate, uh, they will use other types of power. So in this case, my generator up there is powering the same time as these ones, so I can now remove the lines that connect these. There we go. And now take a look. It currently does not proceed to generate, that means that we need a second coal generator to cover it. A coal generator uses rotors, five of those. So when we are doing these things, we need like uh, the modular frames and we need three of those with every build, so I need nine of those at the current moment. Well, in that case, let's make some screws. Make some plates. And let's get inside to get more iron. See, the factory is completely stopped now because we do not have power. Enough from that one coal generator. But at least the coal generator is filled automatically. And that's something that makes the difference here. Because it's filled automatically, um, I do not have to keep an eye out on the fuel consumption. And since we're now placing two more of those, um, we generate 150 of those power supplies and if I believe I can even connect the second floor and maybe the third floor to the one as well um, Since the top floor only uses one that goes up to 20 megawatts of power And the second floor two is like 40 means that 60 currently we are using uh, a different amount down below. The, the bottom floor uses three of those machines, which also equals 60. So 2 times 60 is 120 and we're producing 150 when three coal generators are running. So Let me take a look. That's the first one. More plates. Keep on crafting!
There we go. If we take a look at the coal generator, we have enough, which we need just more cable to get it going, 45 in total, to connect it completely. There we go, should be enough. Good, now let's get up top here, since this one is not needed anymore, I remove it and then it connects the lines again. So if you place one, it splits it in two, but if you remove one, it connects it again. Looks nice. It looks nice when all those belts are going. Really looks nice. Good. Now we are up here. Let's place a second coal generator, shall we? Let's first rotate this thing around. Try to get it equal to the other one. There we go. And there we go. Can I make another one then? I need five rotors more. Let me see. Do I have a crafting bench that I can place here? Sort of need this something. Five rotors coming up. Rotors. Good, but these the rotors need screws and a uh, thing or something. Let me see. Rotors. One, two, three, and now I need two more. Screws, huh? It's even better than I thought. We can even make another one. The coal generators aren't that expensive if you take a look at what it delivers for. Happy result, to be able to say. Oh! That's a bummer. Place two wrong. This should be it. Now, the only thing I need to do here is getting those spears. Let me see. There we go. Now I need to angle it directly at that one point here. Same for this one. And that one. And now I can connect those. Look at that, three more machines working on the system. Now I can place an extra pole here, connect a pole to that line, and now I can connect those three new ones to the line. And if I take a look at it, we now generate 150 megawatts. Look at that. The point is, we now use multiple coal generators that needs to be filled. Since this one is already running, it's running. Um, it's running now. The megawatts it generates all will all be converted into the power. Since this belt is continuously providing a solid amount of coal, once upon a time it will be full, the belt stops and more goes to the next one. Until that one's full, next one, next one, next one. So we now can do this for now, but sooner or later it causes issues. So first let's get down and connect the rest and then I'm gonna end up this episode and then we will be back the next one to take a look at more progressing of the main building or maybe the milestone. Let's take a look first on connecting the different floors to the system since we do want to have the max out of our factory since this is all running again. Let's connect the copper part. Yes, I'm using the stairs. Goodbye and goodbye. 
this one can go wrong, this one goes away. Then we have this one that I can connect to it. And now I can use the normal wall below and the open one. That's up. Now as this one is connected, they all have power. And now we go up even more. Let's see what we can do over there. Remove this one, since we uh, do not want it. Make an extra pole here. Connect it to here. Then to here. And this one to this one. Why I did that is to get it. Oh, I don't know if concrete with me. Well, luckily we are on the concrete floor. There we go. Close that one up. Step one up. And now everything is running on our new coal generators and we are not even using it's something close to that because some factories that are full stop producing. The only part here is that it crashes faster than the concrete comes in. So when the upgrade is there, the milestone MK2, we can finally get going at making the factory a lot faster in production. I also try to get the stuff together that we can go faster with building our upper floor with the new factory because in the next... Oh! The research is done. Let's take a look. We can choose three ones. We can use 30 uh, copper cable and six plates for three of those or we can use screws for those. I think the copper cables is a good thing. Why? Is because I like the way that copper is currently almost not used. And we can use that one to make three of those plates at once. That's a good thing. Confirm. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Thank you. So, let's take a look. I collected some sulfur before. Let's take that one into research. Oh, we are missing just two. That's, that's not nice. Um, mycelia. I collected that one enough, I believe. Yes. I can research the mycelia, so turn that one on. Thank you very much. Good. I think that's it for this episode. I thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Good luck! <laughs>